Hey, it's it's trying to eat my finger. Seriously. Okay, guys, I'm being eaten by a Troidus caterpillar. It's a new one. So I had just had a conversation with the others, and it turns out the first thing that we're going to do is going to the farm. So that's what I came here for, to work at the butterfly farm and improve the breeding program. So um, this guest is going to be the first insects today, so I'm excited. Let's go. Right, three yeah. feather strata. Yeah. I see this 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 fania. Fania, yeah. Troides. Troides, yeah. And this looks like some kind of grafium. Yeah. Papilio. Yeah, I recognize them. Uh, Lacewing. Looks like freshly one hatched here. Very nice. Um, so. Yes. Oh, here. Another. You have a lot of them. Wow, That's look at some that. Silk moths at the back. I don't know. Oh, how yeah. They Are they, these, yeah. These must be Atlas, right, in the back? They did make it. Yeah, it's been very long. Those must be Atlas moths, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. We have them uh, during uh, November. New guide? This is where I'm going to be working for six weeks. Here's a first impression. Um, I'm not going to show you everything in detail yet because if I would, I would waste all my content to one video. We're going to see all of this in detail and I'm going to be moth trapping to introduce new species of moths in here in the breeding program. Nice, nice so this is where you just put the wild females yeah. and then you introduce them to the breeding program. 
And you can see one of the lace wings over there, see the lay eggs on the front. We just grabbed the, the one out of the image. These are good, isn't it? <laughs> Do we need to get all these in engine oil? Or? No, no, they don't need. No need. Not a problem. So here we have an emergence cage with hatching butterflies. Basically, this is where we store the pupa. They have their own separate room and when they hatch, they are released by hand. And this is a Cytosia. Common species of butterfly found here. And they feed on passion uh, vine, passiflora. Which we can do this. Yeah, it is easy. Yeah. The best I will mind is very power to do this. Yeah. This is again. Well, it's not so different butterflies and moths, so maybe only. Okay, so here we have a female of the Troides Helena, which is part of the breeding program here. Oh wow, it's absolutely incredible. And the food plant for these butterflies is uh, Aristologia, which grows here. It's a type of climbing vine, and as you can see, here's already a female resting on the Aristologia. So, don't you need to water it? Um, you, can, you know, this plant, like, I like it talked. If we're drafting a lot of this and we can grow in a pot, we can yeah. feed them in a pot, it's much better. But we cut off, we cut off the water tunnel, and it's why even we soak this in the water, but it's still becoming dry. Okay. Yes. Uh, it cannot take in the water to feed the leaves. That's why every day we need to change even the caterpillar. Don't feed on this caterpillar leaves. Don't feed all this, but we still change because it's very dry. And okay. we cut up every day from somewhere else. We're losing, losing. It's better to just leave it. Okay, so I was just checking the Dysphania moths. So I saw someone lurking on top of the cage. Let's be careful because I think they can, they can still run fast if they wanna. So, um, it's some kind of Cambodian praying mantis. Don't ask me what species. Or. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna do this. Then I have it. Thanks. It's in? It's pretty awesome, right? You can eat the mosquitoes from my hotel room.
Okay, so here we have the small male of the Troides Ayascus in our breeding program. It's probably gonna fly away when I touch it, but you're gonna get an impression of its behavior and size if I try. Oh, yep. Well, now you've seen the male, right? Let's put my hand on it for size. Yeah, for scale. <laughs> Carefully. Oh wow, it's very pretty. It's a big butterfly, right? Yeah, wingspan about 16 up 20 centimeters. Beautiful, thank you. Can you see the hat? <laughs> One kind of butterfly. Yes. Mm. And eggs. Yeah. Kind of so, uh, is this species common here? Can I take a look at it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And they will react. Oh. This is one really okay. easy to cultivate, okay. by the way. It's a hog moth. But, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's a male. Snow. She has three dots at the end of its abdomen, it's a male. Okay. And females only have two dots on the All side. Right. No, the only end, I think, is pretty cool. Hi, everyone, and thanks for watching. My name is Bart Coppens, a traveling entomologist from the Netherlands. Working with moths used to be my hobby. But thanks to my exposure on YouTube and social media, it became my job. Thank you for following my travels in Laos and Cambodia, which is part of the video series that you're watching now. This is the outro video, so skip ahead to the next episode if you like. I would just like to remind all of you to like and subscribe, and consider joining my crowdfunding platform. Because as, as an independent entomologist, crowdfunding enables me to do independent work on insects and improve my YouTube channel. So if you are willing and able, please consider joining. And otherwise I would like to say thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more insects and moths. Bye.